Welcome back everyone, CFP here and this is Survival Living. Today is the release of our highly anticipated asteroid video. In this video we are going to go over the possible asteroid impact threats along with the history of asteroid impacts on Earth, what preventive measures are in place, and if this is a survivable SHTF scenario. For more videos like this and videos on preparedness and survival, make sure you subscribe now and click that thumbs up on this video. Now let's get to the video. A asteroid is a small rocky body orbiting the sun. A large number of these range in the sizes from nearly 600 miles across to the size of a golf ball. Asteroids are believed to be the leftovers from the formation of our solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. The composition makeup of an asteroid differs per asteroid, but basically there are two general types. Predominantly metal asteroids, which contain up to 91% iron, along with metals such as nickel and cobalt, have been found in the remains of meteorites. And the second being a stony asteroid containing oxygen, silicone, magnesium, calcium, and other such elements. Now we have seen the bombardment of headline news almost weekly on reports of asteroids coming close to Earth's orbit, going to be striking the Earth, they're the size of the Geyser Pyramid, they're the size of aircraft. So we're starting to see an uptake on this and this has brought both fears and concern to the people living here on our planet. One of these most recent announcements was the presidential election asteroid of 2020. Known as 2018 VP1, which was discovered on the 3rd of November 2018, a Apollo near Earth asteroid roughly 7 feet in diameter has a 1 in 240 chance of impacting Earth on the 2nd of November 2020. NASA has since lost track of this asteroid, but they say it should pass Earth with a range of roughly 260,000 miles. Many believe this asteroid may still get pulled into the Earth, or since NASA had lost track, other forces in space may have altered its course to be an earthbound impact. If this is the case, most likely the asteroid will explode entering Earth's atmosphere. So such an asteroid is easily survivable. If this asteroid was to survive entry and make impact, it should only affect the surrounding area of the impact since it's only seven feet in diameter and there's many different things that take into place as far as the angle of entry and its speed, but due to its size, it should only be a localized event. Moving on to a much larger asteroid for discussion is the 99942 Apophis. Everybody started freaking out about Apophis. Originally believed to make Earth impact on the 13th of April, 2029, this 370 meter asteroid, roughly a quarter mile in diameter, could be devastating, yet survival if impact. This size asteroid isn't a planet killer, but the impact region would nearly be destroyed. The exact effects of any impact would vary based on the asteroid's composition, its location, angle, and speed of the impact any impact would be extremely detrimental to the area of thousands of square miles but would unlikely change any long-lasting global effects such as a impact winter an apophis impact could create a 17,000 foot impact crater if it was to impact the sedimentary rock but scientists have been working with the Gold Star Radar and they've ruled out the 2029 impact 
along with the return orbit in 2036, given a statement of the highest probability of impact will be on the 12th of April 2068. But the odds of this impact is low. As it sits currently, it is at 1 in 150,000. Yet an asteroid the size of Apophis can be expected to impact Earth once in about 80,000 years. One of the most famous and often referred to asteroid was the asteroid that extinct the dinosaurs. Known for its causing of the extinction of the dinosaurs, this asteroid that size estimated from 7 to 50 miles struck Earth near the Yucatan Peninsula, which aided in the creation of the Gulf of Mexico. This asteroid impact created an extinction event which killed off 70% of plant and animal species on Earth. Now that is their species, not just animal deaths. We had 75% extinction level, completely species wiped off. Its crater is estimated to be 93 miles in diameter and 12 miles in depth. And the impact had an estimated energy explosion of 921 billion with a B, billion Hiroshima atomic bombs. For comparison, that would be 100 million times the energy of the TSAR bomb. The impact of this extinction level asteroid caused a mega tsunami, estimated 330 feet to one mile tall, and was able to reach coastlines around the world. A cloud of hot dust, ash, and steam spread from the crater as the impactor burrowed underground in less than one second. Material, including pieces of the asteroid, ejected out into the atmosphere by the blast and upon re-entry ignited wildfires across the globe. The colossal shockwave triggered global earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Fossil evidence showed the instant die-off of many diverse animals found in soil only 10 centimeters thick in New Jersey, 3,100 miles away from the impact site. The emission of dust and particles could have covered the entire surface of the earth for several years, possibly decades. Production of carbon dioxide caused by the destruction of carbonate rocks would have led to a sudden greenhouse effect. Over a decade, sunlight would have been blocked from reaching the surface of the earth by the dust particles in the atmosphere, cooling the surface drastically. Photosynthesis used by plants would have been interrupted and affecting the entire food chain. Asteroids over a half mile in diameter strike Earth every 500,000 years on average. These are clearly survivable. Granted, the impact zone is devastating. But as far as a planetary scale and species scale, these are survivable. The larger collisions, three mile objects, happen every 20 million years and the last known impact of an object six miles or larger was over 66 million years ago. And this was the asteroid that brought on the extinction of the dinosaurs. In response to the threats of asteroids, governments across the globe have been and currently working on ways to prevent asteroid strikes here on Earth. Asteroid detection is key in this operation. Asteroids detected one year out is way too little of time. But asteroids detected seven to eight years out do have a possibility for deflections 
of these asteroids. Scientists have proposed many different ways of accomplishing this. The first method proposal is the detonation of a nuclear device on or near the asteroid to alter its course and trajectory and is considered the most viable means of defense against an asteroid impact and is why the hypervelocity asteroid interceptor vehicle using a kinetic impactor is being developed. The second method is the kinetic impact method. This method is using a spacecraft basically as a battering ram hitting the asteroid at high speeds in hope that it changes its course. NASA is a high supporter of this method and pursuing the double asteroid redirect test also known as DART mission which is and it's in its final stages of development and scheduled to launch in late 2021 targeting the asteroid Dimorphos. The third idea is the asteroid gravity tractor. This is a theory that uses a spacecraft to travel around and orbit an asteroid to slightly change its trajectory using the gravitational pull of the spacecraft itself. And the fourth proposal is the concept of focus solar energy and asteroid laser ablation. Both using directed energy against the surface of an asteroid, intensely creating the equivalent of a jet engine pushing the asteroid off its course. Now we have recently seen governments around the world claiming of such weaponry for direct energy. Here they have a plan using these direct energy weapons as a possible asteroid deterrent. Now with all that being said, other than an extinction level event, asteroid impacts on Earth. All of the smaller sized asteroids are survivable for mankind as a species. With all the news headlines of possible impacts flooding our screens daily, I want everyone to take comfort in knowing the facts and the timeline of these impacts. Sheer space is vast and scientists can't watch all of it all at once. But smaller asteroid strikes are more probable than planet killer asteroids and can easily be prepared for and survived after impact. Definitely continue preparing for SHTF your food supplies, water systems, but the scenario of a global effect asteroid impact is a scenario we don't see having preparations for. If you have the availability to watch the new movie that was released titled Greenland, you quickly see that survival for mankind will take quite a bit of financial resources and a elaborate bunker system that most average Joes just don't have. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and click that thumbs up for this video, especially if you want to see more SHTF scenario preparedness videos. Now you all take care and we will speak to y'all later.